Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So today I'm with you because our lovely Rose from Crafty Mama Paper Crafts made me this gorgeous, a tiny, and I mean a tiny, little junk journal. So I thought I'd come on today and we're going to decorate. Now, I'm going to have to bring you in close, so please excuse the state of my nails. Right, now I need to make sure that I work in this little area as best as I can, so um, I will try my hardest not to move but as you can see it is really really small and dinky so I thought it'd be really fun to actually decorate this up um, and then I'm going to turn it into a little key ring so I'm going to put some nice little sayings on it uh, nice um, words and things um, so yeah how fun is this going to be now I do need to get some paints out so what um, I'm going to do so you're not going to be able to see me but I am going to you oh I was going to use my gouache pins um but actually do you know what let's use these ones so these I got from scrawler box and it is just um some acrylic paints so it's Dollar and Rowney uh, color paint um acrylic paints we need a palette so let me grab the palette out. This one will do. So I have got a new one here, which I did buy before uh, September. Although by the time this goes off, I'm allowed to spend again. Right, if I put the paint in those, two, right, I'm trying to get it because obviously you guys um, are up close. So if I keep this there that and then if we work on the little book there it should keep everything together so I'm just we literally need I think that's even probably too much paint um but yeah how fun is this going to be I think it's going to be so so fun um but yeah I'm really really excited um to be doing this um as soon as i saw it i knew that this is what i wanted to do i wanted to actually turn it into a little mini art journal so um i need a paintbrush but we are going to need a really small a tiny one or tiny ish so this one will probably do which is fine um we also oh i know i have i have these which were a gift from oh can i remember her name oh dear oh i can't i know she used to live with our lovely christine for a while but i really can't i've forgotten her name anyway we're going to use these i think these would work really really nicely i don't think i should have sort of poured them all over though that was a bit silly of me wasn't it right so i'll leave them up there so let's let's start on our first page so i i don't even know what i'm going to do but I am just going to spray some water. Um, I'm just going to get some colour on. And we're just going to have some fun. So, yeah. So, just pop, pop in on this gorgeous pink. Because this pink is lovely. So, I'm going to paint the whole of our page with that. Do you know what else I think I might get out? So, I've got... Um, just pop a bit of water on just because I want that to sort of yeah spread like that right I'm gonna add sort of this pink here but I want it quite sort of thick and a little bit of water there we go how cool is this I love how that pink's gone really dark and yeah it's really really nice right okay so uh put that in some water what i'm thinking is i oh let me grab a stamp set out um let's have a look oh why is it when you want a stamp set you can't find one um Right, 
right. Okay. I think. Um, right, I picked that one up. I don't know why I picked that one up. I think I'm going to go for this strip here. So, right, so here it is. And then I'm going to grab my um, archival ink and drop everything while I'm grabbing it. It's really, really strange actually doing this on such a small screen, I have to admit. So I'm just going to sort of pop that, oh, love. Right, yeah, just add in some, right, really like that. So let's pop that back. So uh, I need, um, what do I need? I need a cloth, I need something just to clean that up, but we'll do it in a second, I think. Right, um, <clears throat> okay, so really liking that. I feel like I wanna add some of that blue on. So I'm just going to add, let's mix that up. Oh, it's a lovely, lovely blue. Um, so I'm just thinking that I just want a little bit of the color. I don't want too much. So it's just really, yeah, in a few places. So just like that. Oh, I like that. And then I think I'm going to add maybe a flower. Um, so I'm going to add flowers to all of them. Oh, I like that yellow. That yellow is nice. So. Do you know what? I'm just going to use, because I can't find my glue at the minute, so I'm just going to use this, which is just my Do Crafts um, Pearl Drops. I'm just going to adhere that in there. And then, like I say, I really, really like how that's looking. And then pop that on there, like so. Love. And then I feel like I want to just pop maybe... And just a couple of these on this page. So just to balance it out. So there's one. Um, no, I don't want that one. Let's have a look. Oh, I like that one. And then this one. Just on there. Like that. So that's what I've got. Really, really liking that. Um, next thing is... Not sure where I put them though. I wanted some word stickers. Um, where would I have put my word stickers? Right, I think we'll leave the word stickers for now. We'll come back to them right at the end because I have a feeling I've popped them away with my junk journaling stuff because I've been doing some junk journaling. So that is our first little page. How cute is that? Oh, do you know what else we need? We need splas splatters. Let's do some splatters. Right, just clean my brush off. Um, I think I want yellow. Why not? Well, it's going to end up being green because I've managed to mix some blue into it. But why not? Right, okay. Let's add some splatters. Oh, how cute is that? That is so cute. Right, there we go. Right, let me bring in a clean water as well so we can get rid of the paint off the brush and then pop it in our clean water so there is my first little page um like i say we're gonna have to wait and um, to put the our little words on um just because of the fact that yeah i put them away with my junk journal and stuff so i will go and grab them right at the end so let's turn over and let's do our next page so i'm feeling like i want to go with yellow so let's go nice and bright um so like so probably would have been good to put some gesso on but i am trying to be careful because i don't want that page to stick so really i should have dried it off first using my heat gun um I'm going to add some of this blue just in splatters. Um, I want it to really mix in with that. Oh, love. Right. Do you know what? I'm not even going to do anything with that. So let me grab my heat gun because we do really need to, to dry this. So let's dry this um, off. Move them out the way. 
so like so it's so so tiny Try this side as well. Okay, so there we go. Right now, this one's going to be a little bit different because I'm going to use this stamp set again. This stamp set came from our lovely um, Alison, and uh, so it is like a film style one. I'm going to take the man's head. Um, because and let's ink him up I thought how nice would it be oh, to have him sort of just stamped on there how cool is that <laughs> oh that is fab I love that right make sure that we don't stick yeah that is so cool right okay um so really liking that how that is looking um Oh, it's not fab. Um, so let, I'm going to add just a little bit of this pink. Um, so we're going to follow the same um, sort of, um, oh, what do you call it? Like style all the way through. So because we're using the same sort of colours. So I may as well use the same stamp set. So all I'm doing is I'm just adding pink to his jacket. Um, because why not? <laughs> this is so cool do you know what I highly recommend you do this pick three colors um and just go for it because this is so fun so this is our lovely Rose's idea this isn't mine she was the one who made this but I have to admit I, I am loving it right I don't want to add anything else to him I do feel that over there I just want to add a word uh, so we are leaving the words for now but I am going to bring in my black pen and we're just going to doodle just like this, because I think we need to doodle. Oh, I know what. Where is my white pen? Because I think it would be nice. Right, I'm going to attempt to use uh, my pen, my Posca pen, pen, but the chances are I'm going to get it wrong because they never work for me. Um, but I'm just going to sort of yeah just go around those dots and then just a little bit of fake stitching I'd write but it's not gonna work for me I hate paint pens I found out as well recently that most of you do too which is so glad it's not just me right um you know what I'm gonna add a little bit of this white to his shirt just to take some away of that colour uh, so just like that there we are oh isn't he looking gorgeous right okay so there's that page let's get that dry before we go on to the next one and then I think on the next page I think we should do the girl definitely right come on and dry It always seems to take forever to dry. I don't know if you've noticed that. Right, okay, so this is the next one. Right, before we actually um, go with um, our paints, I'm just going to stamp our girl. So, I think what I'm going to do... Oh, oh, make sure you can see. Is I'm going to stamp her there. And just go for it there we are so it's not the best stamped image but it will do i like um and then i'm going to grab my pen and just let's fill in some of that detail uh, just where i've sort of missed so it's not the end of the world we can sort it there we are so yeah i do not mind right Okay, so there's that now. Um, and let's grab my paintbrush. I'm gonna first of all, we're gonna grab some of that pink. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna grab a tiny amount of yellow. 
just to mix in with that pink. I'm trying to see if I can make a skin tone, but I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I'm not the best person at doing this. Oh, that looks like, all right. Well, looks a bit too pink now. Um, that, yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, of course it is. Right, okay. So she's got like a funny skin colour. <laughs> but, you know, it is art. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's what I love about doing this. Oh, that's stuck to that page. It's fine. Okay, so just doing that. Um, right, let's have her in a blue top. Yeah. So I'm just going to paint that down. Okay, like so. Now I haven't um, gessoed these pages, which is why the paint is soaking in really, really quickly. So um, I highly recommend you do gesso. Right, now I've made like a sort of greeny colour. So yeah, I'm just going to pop that there. And then in there we shall pop some writing. So just like that, right. Okay, so that's our next page, and then I'll put um yeah, we'll put a word in there as well. I might I'm looking at these thinking, should we just write a word in? I love that. How cute is that? And then so yeah, I really like that. Right. Let's do the center fold. So I'm gonna just go with flowers. I really want that pink, so we're gonna do pink, and we're just going to pop it all over. So not thinking much about it. Okay. Um, and then let's add some blue splashes to this one. And that's all I'm going to do. And then the last bit on this page is I'm going to add some of these sequins. So I'm just going to pop a few dots down and then I'm just going to grab these sequins because these sequins are just absolutely beautiful and it seems a shame not to use them. Um, one up there. Okay, so there we have that and then we can have a nice word across there. So I'm going to have to keep doing this because I don't want it to sort of stick together and that's precisely what it's doing. Okay. So, let me dry this off quickly. Right, okay, so that is that done. Um, oh, do you know what? Let's have a look. What have we got? We've got the dress, the mat. Oh, should we do a shoe or not? We've got a shoe here, so let's do a shoe on one. Right, let's uh, fold that over. Right, I'm going to stamp this. I'm not, as you can see, I'm not using a block, so yeah, there. I like that. Right, okay, let's paint up our shoe. I'm going to make it a nice green colour, I think. Um, fancy like a really nice sort of um, I'm trying to think like sea green so I might need a little bit more blue oh that's a nice green that is a very very nice green okay I want that one so just a different oh, that is a lovely lovely green that I wouldn't be able to make there again Right, okay, do you know what, I'm going to go over the shoe as well, it's just like that. Um, so as you can see, the paint is soaking straight in. This is why when doing art journaling, you need um, a primer. I mean, I should have really, I know because just because this is small doesn't mean that we don't need to have the primer as well. Um, we do, I just, I'm just being lazy. So, um, and your primer is your gesso, right. I'm just going to paint in our shoe. We're having a pink shoe. And just like that. And then what I'm going to do is let's get some pink splatters as well. And then pop some pink splatter. Oh, 
love I love the size of those ones and then the last thing I'm going to do on this page is where this is is I'm going to pop a bit of this and we're going to grab one of these and stick it on Ooh, if we can do it without without dropping it so just like that so let's try this one I'm really making sure to dry this one because we've got those really large lumps so we don't want to sort of smudge them or mess it up in any shape or form. Okay, so that should be that. Oh, how cute is that? It's not quite, oh it's smudged but it's fine. I didn't want to do it but we have so there's not much I can do about it now. Right, um, next let's do, I haven't done just a full blue. Yeah, let's do blue. There we go. So, oh, I love this blue. I just love the colours. I think they're gorgeous. Right, I'm making sure that you can, I'm sort of getting carried away because um, I can sort of see... I'm moving it quite a bit but so I'm hoping that we've stayed in shop because like I say I want it so that you can see what I'm doing Um, I know that you're not getting to see me choose the stamps but you know um, I am sorry about that right we have got um, this which just has some words on I'm not sure I'll be able to get them all but we'll give it a go there we go yeah not quite but you know what I still like it and I'm just going to grab oh I like that so where's my little make sure back up there so nice dot oh it's gonna there I knew it was gonna do that I just absolutely knew it right I want to keep that green one so right I'm gonna put that on there with that one on top if they'll stay and there we go so just like that um splatters we need a few splatters where is oh we'll have this sort of i made like this limey green color up so let's have lime green splatters there i think oh we've got one more page to go so let's quickly dry this one Right, okay, so our last page, right, this is looking so good. I actually have, to, just to the um, side of me, I actually have some uh, stickers, so, well, some words that we'll just have to glue down. Okay, I think the last one, let's do pink. Why not? I like pink. Um, I think this is, yeah. So, like that. Uh, oh, we've got, this is like a nice big dollop, so I'm going to have it so it's sort of textured, I think. And really covered, because it's quite nice paint, this. Nice and, yeah, squidgy. <laughs> so what? Oh dear. Squidgy, I like that word, squidgy. Okay, I need to stop, I think. Right. Um, it's just, I'm just clearing out my paintbrush because it really is filled with uh, that paint. Now, before I go, um, I'm going to do some blue splatters before we do anything else to this because I just think they would look amazing. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh really nice right okay so let's try this off Ok, 
okay so there's that love right so let's go back to the beginning okay so let's have a look oh right these are the words i've got right i'm going to come out a little bit because yeah i just as you can see the mess around me let me move my my water's out of the way and i'm going to pop all of my sequins back because we're not going to be using any more of them and i don't want to lose them um, oh, Chris Pasmino, that's who I got them off. I knew there was, yeah, so Chris Pasmino is the person I got those sequins off. So thank you, hon. They come in very handy all of the time. Okay, so I'm just going to, um, yeah, I am going to just use this as my glue. Um, I do have a proper Nouveau clear one, which I prefer. So um, we're going to pop that one in there. It says Guidance. And then let's see what else I have. Um, graceful. What about that? That'll do. So, yeah. And stick that there. Oh, I love, I really love it. Right, now what she said. Oh, what about? <laughs> Definitely attitude. Right. Okay. I mean, this is art gentling on a super, super small scale, isn't it? It's so cool. Love that. Right. In the center. Um, let's see what else we have. I just want the white. Oh, look at this. I'm making a right mess. Oh, we've got garden, but I don't think garden goes. So far, everything else I've picked out I've quite liked. Um, but no, I don't like garden. Right, we have this that's full, full of stuff. Um, album, yes, we definitely use album. Um, oh, blameless, I like that. Brave, why not? Um, if there must be some more in here. Acknowledgement, but I think that might be too big. Artistic, oh, I like that. Right, let's see. And do you know what else I've just thought? I've got this gorgeous flower and this gorgeous flower. Oh, I'll use that one instead. Um, we can use those. Oh, and there's one there. Four. Oh, just one, I think. Yeah, let's just use the one. So I'm going to stick that to the front of it. So just on there. Although we can't see things. There we go. Yeah. Right, I am going to attach this though. Right, in the middle, I'm going to have. What are we going to have? Um, oh, should we have an acknowledgement? Because why not? It's quite a big word, so we can sort of have it going all the way across, just like that. There, I like that. I'm not sure that's really stuck in and then brave so this one oh make sure i'm not off camera keep thinking because we're working with such a small um piece that i'm going to end up off camera which would not be good right um this one i'm going to put uh, blameless So, I don't know why I'm using blameless, but yeah, but I think I just like the word, um, an artistic, do you know what, I'm going to use artistic album on the last pages, because we haven't really got any other focal points, it's more just texture, so artistic, and then album, and then I'm going to pull right out, and we'll tidy up, I think. But I have to admit, this has been quite a fun little project to do. So thank you so much for that, Ross. That's like, yeah, it's really, really fun. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, putting my lid on here because we don't want it to dry out. Um, right, okay, so let me just move the few bits and pieces. So I'll move my palette out the way. Um, let's put my lid back on my... Um, oh, we can use that in something else. Oh, okay, right. I do need to grab 
my wipes because have you seen the state of this? Um, we're going to get out now. I need my porky tool and I need some. Um, what do I need? I'm trying to think what I need. Oh, actually, I can use that bit of wire. So let's use everything because I thought it'd be quite nice to attach it on to one of my key rings. Um, yeah, I have. Let me just show you. I'm just trying to get off because I don't want to spread paint everywhere. Um, but I have a bunch of key rings in front of me that people have made me or bought me. And I every time I look at them, I smile. So I think this would be a nice little sort of um, a thing to go on there. So, pokey tool. You got my pokey tool. Uh, let me use my bead mat. I think that's probably the best thing to go with. Um, so all I'm going to do is just in this corner, is I'm just going to pop, pop in a hole all the way through. So just like that. Um, so we have a hole. And then using the wire that came off that flower, because, you know, we don't waste, I am just going to twist that around like the so. And then using my pliers, so I have some around nose pliers here, I am going to pop that on and twist that into a loop like so. Um, oh, let's get the other one out. So, always oh, not want not. And then let's, I'm just going to. I normally I would use a jump ring so please do use a jump ring um, I am just being a lazy and just using what's in front of me um, so this is just the oh we've gone through that paper but that's fine um, actually we've gone through nearly all of that paper so oh that was not very good of me right so I've just got a little loop there so let me just grab down my key ring so here it is. Um, this one I actually made <coughs> um, using craft box stuff and it does have the time. It isn't actually that time so that needs, um, yeah. Um, so how gorgeous is that and then it opens up like that. But um, it's either dead or I need to push it in. I can't remember which. I think I stopped it so yeah. Um, this one I got from Coastal Crafts. Um, this one I got off our lovely Dawn. Um, this one came with a pocket line. I can't quite remember who it was. I've got another few. So what I'm going to do is, where have I put my little book? Here's my little book. Um, I'm just going to open up one of the jump rings on this owl. And I'm going to just pop that in there. And then that's going to stay on there with that. So... How cute is that? So <clears throat> let's quickly go through it. So it says little things which we got off our lovely um, uh, Roz. So I will leave a link to her channel so do check her out. And then this is what I've sort of done with it. Excuse the whole where I've managed to break it because I didn't think about it. I didn't think it through. So we've just gone through and just did a little bit of stamping, a little bit of painting. So I use very minimal supplies. Um, we've got some nice little words there. I just think they're really cool. How nice is that? And then, oh, the last bit. Like I said, that's my fault. Um, that is really, really fun. I really want to make some more. Um, well, I didn't even make that, but I, I really want to use some more. Right, I'm going to pop that back up where it was. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And do go and check out our lovely um, Roz over at Crafty Mama Paper Crafts. Because she is super talented. Um, so she has given me lots of ideas. That is it for today. Um, until next time, please stay safe and happy crafting. Bye!